Hi everybody, day 178 here and I know I usually only put out videos on Wednesdays but I had something that I wanted to show you here and a couple little things and I will be making photos of these and putting them on the blog down below. This is an update on A Amusement Entertainment. They said they would no longer correspond with me by email after their threats of or else. You know, their professional manner. So let me show you how professional they are, because usually in a professional person that sends you a letter in the mail, which I did get, I had to sign for it, return receipt, so that they have proof that I got it, and they spent $20 on mailing it to me. That's the most I've ever seen somebody spend on paperwork. And they at least got my name right down here. I'm not going to take a photo of this, it's no need. But uh, if you've ever seen any of the letters that I write, I have a nice professional header. I type out everything. I print it out. I spell check it, and I do all that. Okay? This, they have one letterhead, and the rest is all blank white paper. And if you notice, it's dated June 23rd, 2011. What else do you see? It's written in Sharpie. Marker. Okay. Now, unfortunately, I guess they don't take a look at my blog and realize that I didn't have a video up on Wednesday and I told people that I was going to put one out on Thursday. That did recant a little bit of uh, Amanda McDaniel Stifler's uh, statement that she made, which she apologized to them for. Um, I'm I guess I'm kind of making a sort of apology. Uh, I can't say for sure whether that was or was not them. They have no proof it wasn't. They have no proof it was. Um, so the thing is, it's up to you to decide whether it's truthful or not. If you were in the area and you saw the same thing and you know it was the company, make a statement. If you don't, uh, if you know it's not them, I will apologize for that wholeheartedly if there is proof that it wasn't them. Okay? So all these pieces of paper that I got, I'm going to make a copy of. And look, they even put page numbers up there. So I can't, you know, screw it up. And neither can you because then you can read it in order. You know, last page. Make the video. Yeah. Look, I've already proven one lie. Okay, so... Um, before I get into more details about this, let me let me show you something. This is the only professional thing I've gotten from them, and it's a uh, restaurant's catering flyer that they made. And uh, I don't know whether it's truthful or not and stuff. But, yeah, it actually does look a little bit professional, which I have to give them credit for. At least they tried. Okay? Now, here's another thing. I don't know whose this was originally, but I know it wasn't a amusement performer's originally. Um... I know that they didn't uh, do all this themselves for the simple fact is take a look at it take a look down below at the actual photo that I have down below okay it's handwritten where they actually you know covered up somebody else's name and drew in their own name there which doesn't look very professional at all plus uh, there's another part right here where it talks about face painting and uh, prize to winner of game, which is all handwritten, meaning they cut and paste that into there. They remove something to put their own words in. Um, also down below, it's very hard to make out because they hand wrote their whole stuff down here. Now, I don't know if this is a generalized form or something, but, I mean, it doesn't look very professional. In fact, you can see where they made mistakes and just copied the whole thing instead of trying to make an original thing themselves they copied somebody else's stuff so here's another thing that um, I, I guess all lawyers out there are going to laugh at and everything um, and I will read this to you because it's on the front page and I thought it was really hilarious here okay your statements cannot be used in court and would also depend on the judge if he would allow it if the parties are also there matching the statements with prof it's them. Prof
proof is spelled P-R-O-O-F, not P-R-O-F-F, -F, okay? That's just, you know, and the thing is, if I have statements that I'm taking to court, of course, I already know that I have to make copies of all statements, all paperwork that I have, so that they have a copy that they can reference themselves. So, if they think that <laughs> I can't use statements and documents, they're wrong because they're open to the public and I can use them. They're not stolen statements, okay? So, they're kind of screwed up there. Um, where is it? I'm a talent buyer. I have not been in business almost three times longer than you by being dishonest. If you were in business three times longer than me, why are you using everybody else's stuff? Why are you using other people's photos? Why are you using other videos? Um, other people's videos? Um, why is it that your website doesn't lead to anywhere and has a lot of broken links in it? You know, if you have all this money to create this stuff, if you've been around for that long, why aren't you using your own stuff? Why is this blowing up into a big deal? Why are you attacking me? Why are you attacking everybody else? It does not matter whether you state that they said something first. If you stole something from me and I'm ticked off, I'm going to say something, okay? For you to come back and use racial slurs and demean somebody and tell them that they're a piece of shit, that their work is shoddy, that they're not even a good face painter and you're stealing their work because they are a good face painter, that's just blatant stupidity on your part. So, the thing is, A Amusement, I'm making the video. Okay? If you're watching these, which Obviously, you're not. <laughs> Everybody else will let you know that's still friends. Here's the other thing I don't understand. If you have nothing to hide, why did you block me from Facebook altogether? Why did you block me from YouTube so I can't make comments or post video replies? Doesn't that seem kind of awkward to you? Does that seem very professional? If you have nothing to hide, you shouldn't be blocking people. Unblock me so we can discuss this online. So I can take a look at your photos and make sure everything's okay. Alright? Are you that stupid? I guess so. Um, where is it? Right here. None. I repent. None. Repeat. R-E-P-E-A-T. Face palm. Sorry. I repeat, none of these videos, pictures, was meant for anyone to see yet. If you did not mean for anybody to see them yet, you should not have posted them online. Or if you posted them online, you should not have published them to your page or made sure that everybody could see them. YouTube has three different sections in it that say public, unpublic, and private. You know? You can actually hide your videos and photos in Facebook and YouTube to where nobody can see your stuff until you are ready to put them out to the public. This is common sense, all right? So if you did not intend for anybody to see anything that was on your website, anything that was on your Facebook or your YouTube, you should not have posted them. That's stupidity. And to say, um, let's see, where did it say here? And you cannot show anything where I said that some high-end show painting was done by me and only me and no one else anywhere can do it. That's wrong. You have videos up. I'm giving you a chance to take your videos down because I'm going to post links to those videos and point out where you said that you were the only ones that did the stuff in there, in those videos. That you were the only ones to paint these kinds of things. That you claimed that the photos that you showed in your videos were yours, or you claimed were yours. And we know they're not. So, 
I'll post the links down below to all those, and I'll let people know, and I will point out everything that you said you don't do in this letter. So let's see if you can escape that one. Do you want to try it? Do you really want to push this by trying to bully somebody with a large marks a lot marker saying make the video? Or try to scare them by saying boo? I know a lot of people are tired of me hearing about this and I'm tired of dealing with you A amusement performers, but guess what? Somebody's got to because if this continues on, you're going to hurt our community really bad. The only reason I'm continuing on with you, A Amusement Performers, is for the simple fact that you have attacked me multiple times. And I don't take that for granted. I don't take that lightly. I don't like that at all. And for you to say that I'm attacking you, you started it. I'm going to finish it. And if you want to try to take this to court, you go ahead. You send me the court papers. I will personally make a trip down there to New Orleans to smear your face in the dirt. Okay? To make sure that people know exactly who you are or who you aren't and that you will lose all your business that you think you have. Go ahead. Try this. I'm done. I'm tired of this. You want to send me anything else? You send me proof that you're not stealing. This ain't proof. This is shoddy. This is uh, unprofessional. I mean, you want to know how a letter is sent? I'll send you a letter. I'll send you a letter professionally made using professional words with spell checking to make sure that my words are heard in the way they're supposed to be heard. This, did you get your child to write this? This is ridiculous. Everybody else, go ahead, look down below at the copies I made. Read it for yourself. Laugh. Leave comments. If you know of stuff, because I'm still collecting all this information, if you know of anything that they have done, or you've heard of anything and stuff, go ahead and place a comment down below. In fact, Go ahead and call them. The phone number's right there. Where, where's it at? Phone number's right there. 504-348-0008. Write them a letter. Tell them how you feel. I'm done with this. If you're going to write a letter, make sure you research everything like I do. But that's my update for today. And I thank you for watching my video. Please rate, comment, subscribe. I love you guys, and I'll talk to you next Wednesday. Have fun. Love you guys. Bye.